but not least indeed the, the defending champions, Red Dragon, Kyle O'Reilly, who I first watched and had the pleasure of calling. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to today's edition of the interview, especially interview. My name is Keith Mwemba. And uh, as we get to continue to look at what Zambia is looking like today, this evening, I'm joined by Mr. Lazarus Simukoko, who is the former Democratic Party Harry Kalabalate Youth National Spokesperson. Mr. Simukoko, good evening and welcome to the interview. Uh, good evening, Mr. Keith. And uh, it's, a, it's good to be here. All right, great. Good to have you. Thank you very much. All right, you could also uh, be able to follow up this uh, particular interview on uh, social media. That's on our social media handle, Ask Movie TV on Facebook, as well as YouTube. And uh, Mr. Simukoko, I remember the last time we had a conversation, you did, you know, come out very clear with a lot of clarity and emphasis to say Harry Kalava was uh, the uh, real owner of the Democratic Party. What happened? What changed? Uh, when you look at a political party, a political party is not a private institution, meaning there is no any person who can claim that that, uh, that political party belongs to me and nobody can take away this political party from me. Mm -hmm. That is how a political party run, because that is a public entity, meaning immediately you admit a person or the person comes on board and say, I'm joining this political party. Mm -hmm. You even indicate that person or you tabulate that person into the system. Mm -hmm. It simply means that person is also part of that political party. Now, when I came here, I said the president, President Harry Karaba, mm -hmm. was the president of the party because the president was duly elected. I meant it. One, we had a convention which was held in, at Kupak, Lodge in Chiranga. Right. When we had that convention, that is the area where the president was sponsored to contest the 2021 elections, fulfilling the constitutional right or the constitutional requirement which is supposed to be there. Apart from that, also, Rangos came. They started coming on board. Now, when you look at the political party we are in, the people were not joining the party because among the issues which those guys raised mm -hmm. where that no new members should join a political party. Now, what kind of a political party, what kind of a party are you going to have where we are not becoming new members? According to them, they said, no, you are allowing the guys from the PF to come in, you are allowing I'll these people. I was waiting for you to get there because most yes. of the claims that were made uh, from the other, you know, faction yes. was that uh, they were not okay on how Mr. Harry Kalawa started uh, including now most of the people from the Patriot Fund, how was that? How was how was the model, or did, did, w w was what was the model of uh, you know getting people join the political party? They have it's their constitutional right to join any political party. Mm -hmm. Then the president again said every person is welcome to join the party. Now, when you can say that uh, it's wrong to admit the people who are previously in the Patriot Fund, then we are wrong, because in the UPND today, the people who are even ministers. I've served in the Patriotic Front before. Look at the Minister of Technology, Felix Mutati. Served in the previous administration. Let us look again at other members. In fact, most members when the MMD lost power, they joined the political party which came out third. In that case, that was the UPND in the 2011 elections. That is why we are able to see Sylvia Masewa is in that political party. Mm -hmm. You are able to see other members who served in the MMD Today, they are in the same political party called the UPND because they will come to them. Mm -hmm. So now, that was the move which the president said, look, we can't restrict people who want to join. You come on board, I want to join the party. Then you say, no, you are not welcome. Then what are we going to be at the end of the day? 
Each and every person has a right to join any political party. Right. It doesn't matter which political party that is. But provided that person believes in what you are believing in, and let me make it clear to the public again, mm -hmm. the new party which we are forming, all members are going to be allowed to come on board. Be it from the UPND, be it from the patriotic flank, be it from any political party, we are going to begin receiving them. We are going to receive them and things are going to be running. Now, updating the public on how the political party has moved in terms of the registration, mm -hmm. everything has been made. The colors we have already been given, which is uh, green and uh, orange. I'm, I'm Those just, are the I'm colors. Just from seeing your president has posted, uh, just a few minutes ago, he has posted yes, some jerseys yes. of some, some branding. Also. Yes, yes. So those are the colors that we have been given. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, also, the symbol has already been cleared, including the name. The only thing which is remaining is that the 10 of bearers, they are supposed to submit their fingerprints so that they are verified, provided they don't have any criminal record. Are so you that able is to where tell us the name of the party? No, no, I can't, because uh, it is yet to be verified by the same people. The people submitted their fingerprints, mm -hmm. so after submitting, we need to make sure that they clarify all the process, but uh, it's a good name, I can't lie to you. Alright, uh, well, a good name, uh, but we wait for that. But, but yes. let me get your, you know, your thoughts on uh, how you have uh, keenly and uh, always been a follower of Harry Kalaba. Even at the time, there were those wrangles and he decided to pull out. Many people have condemned that particular pulling out or resignation from the Democratic Party to say he did not really show uh, his tenacity or his, uh, you know, the, the toughness in him. Why did he give up so easily? Remember, uh, he gave up on the, you know, from the Patriot Front. He went to the Democratic Party. He gave up. Uh, how sure are you that he won't no, give up? When he you are looking at uh, his designation from the Patriot Plan. Mm -hmm. That was based on principle. What principle? The principle that the previous uh, government was corrupt. That ah. is, those are the issues he highlighted. But I wouldn't want to dwell much on his side as to why he resigned. All right. I think he's a, a free person who you can call then. You can ask him such questions, I think. But he could, have, he could have shared with you the followers yes, or I'm the members. So that, it's so in the you, public you it domain. The public. It's in the public domain, sir. It's in the public domain. So the president had to resign specifically because of the issues to do with corruption. And uh, it is expected. But he hasn't reviewed any corrupt activities or reported it is, anyone. It is not he, for him to review. It is not for him to review. It is for the... That is why we have got the legal institutions in the country. Those are the, uh, the people who you can uh, look out for. Then they can update you. But uh, in terms of him uh, prosecuting or persecuting people, it's not within his rights. That is why we have got uh, well-confined courts of law, mm -hmm. which are supposed to follow up such issues. Apart from that, we have got legal institutions, mm -hmm. which are supposed to deal with such issues again. Before you tell us about what even the manifesto, I know the party is not already launched, uh, what are the ideals? I know Harry Kalaba, he's uh, one of the youngest uh, opposition political leaders in the country, and even at the time the, the country is looking forward for younger people, yes. uh, they may turn out to, to Harry Kalaba. What are his ideals or philosophies that you've held on to and you'd want the other young people in the country to be able to follow up, Mr. Harry Kalama? Okay, uh, of course, the young people are going to turn up and the youth is specified, but not only those, including all the ages. Yeah. They are going to be in support based on the ideas he has for the country. Uh, today within the country as we are speaking, we are having the law or the people in government who are not understanding the law. Secondly, we are having the people in the country, or the people in government specifically, mm -hmm. who are able to, you know, there is that kind of uh, misunderstanding. I don't know how I can judge this government again. Mm -hmm. Look, they go ahead. When we had the issue of floods uh, in southern province, mm -hmm. I think you saw that, DMMU moved in and began the distribution of uh, helping those people who are out of housing. packages, yes. Yes, they left such packages. Mm -hmm. Then... They go ahead in Chingola, specifically in Kasompe, and begin demolishing people's houses. Of course, you can say that is illegal. But the issue is, what is so special between the illegality, it's a moral question, in fact, mm -hmm. between the illegality of those people and their wel uh, welfare? The welfare of an individual will always stand out. It doesn't matter what is there or what is not there. So you, you'd go for the welfare of individuals than following the Constitution? 
Which constitution did they follow? That was an illegal land. It was they... illegal land. Yes. Now, the president in 2014, we had the, sim the similar event. Haka in 2014, made it to the public. It's all over social media for now. He said, when the, that government of that time was doing the same, mm -hmm. he said, there is always a consensus which can be made between the people who are accused or the people whose properties or who have built those houses on illegal land mm -hmm. as well as the government. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that those people, they remain in shelter or they are provided with housing. Right. In every country which is in this world, every government pays attention to how the people are living. That is why President Mwanawasa Tatumpire, President Mwanawasa made sure that the people like the orphans and all those guys are well equipped with resources to make sure that they are accessing schools, they are doing all that. That is why they had to bring in the issue that, has to, that had to do with the social cash transfer. Right. Now, the social cash transfer was specifically helping the people who are the widows, the widowers, and so on and so forth. Why was that important? Mm -hmm. Because it was important to those people who are failing to survive. Right. Now, failure to survive by them means they were not only eating, okay? They were failing to eat or to provide their basic needs. So is the case. Housing is a basic need. That is why if you are not putting in much effort to ensure that every Zambian is living a decent life, every Zambian is living in a good shelter, every Zambian is well equipped. Apart from that, the same government that we are talking about today mm -hmm. made sure that the president's former president house was attacked. People stole the TV sets from there. And that will come, will trigger to say, Mr. where is the security? Mr. Simon Koko, you, you are saying the UPND, this government, made... Who is in charge of providing security? I want you to be very clear on yes, that Yes, very clear. So you are saying this government organized people to go and steal no, from... No, 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 no. Hear what I've said. What did I've you said say? The government mm -hmm. has not provided enough security, enough security to safeguard the former head of state. How so? How do you say? How do people walk in and steal the TV with their insecurity? It's not the first time this is happening. President Rupia Banda was once, you know, robbed, not once, mm -hmm. not twice. Yes. Yes. So how, how, how do you say that there wasn't no proper security? Uh, when thieves are thieves, we've, we've, we've had thieves. We've had thieves robbing. So it's a know, norm. A, it's a norm it's to It's not attack. a norm, but how... You have said it has happened before, so it's not new. So it's a norm to, attack, to, to steal from former heads of state. How, how, how would you have loved, you know, the security to be tightened at the former head of state house? The way it's supposed to be. How is it supposed to be? It's supposed to be tightened by making sure that enough security is provided. There is no way they can say, no, uh, there is uh, the, the people walking, then they still, it simply means there is no adequate security. And then if you're going to say it happened previously, it's not the first time it was happening, then it's a norm. Okay, let, let, every, let, every former head of state must have thieves to steal from them. It simply means even President Aga Inde Ichidema, when he leaves office, it's okay for people to steal from him. All right, let it me, simply means hmm. every president we are going to be having in this country, it is okay if those thieves go there and steal. Let me hold your thought a bit on that one. You, you, you partly touched the Kasompe airstrip yes. and the demolition of over 300 you know, households. Yes. And you have firmly condemned that on how the government took that particular stance. Mm -hmm. But there are claims uh, to say there were, there were prior engagements before that demolition. There was prior engagement to those people, not says were given, but they were not adhering no, no, no. to that. How are you justifying the, an illegality? Mr. Sinikoko, why and how are you justifying an illegality, people building on a private land? Forest 27, you know that it's illegal to, for people to own land there. It was degazetted by the Republican president. It doesn't matter. I'm telling you it's illegal. It's not illegal. It, it was are legal when, okay, when the wait. president they degazetted it. In it short, illegal. in short, the government that we are having today promised the people in parliament the rule of law i'm coming yes. it doesn't matter whether it's a, a rule of law or not mm -hmm. what i'm telling you is the government we are having in place 
said immediately we form government, all those houses in Forest 27 will be demolished. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Have you heard the latest update on that one? Uh, they are in government, they'll justify everything. What do you expect? Now, apart from that, let me get back to Kasompe, the, those houses which are demolished. Mm -hmm. In the process, there is one woman who died. I'm sure you know of that issue. Now, when you are dem demolishing such houses, somebody had BP, then the person died. The implication is that that woman had children, those children are now orphans. What has caused them to be orphans? The people went to demolish there. Went to demolish there, and who gave them the permission to demolish? They had the permission because who those, gave them those the permission? structures, Mr. Simukoko, were on a private land. It doesn't look. Here is. I want you to are justify here. No, no, let me, let me, let me come to you. Look, let me come to you. Let us, let us drive into ethics now. Let us deal with the issue of ethics a bit. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. You have a person who is living on an illegal land. Then that house. Is, an, is sitting on the illegal land. They've been warned to move I am coming, I am coming. Hold on. All right. That person is living on that illegal land. Mm -hmm. Okay? Then, on the other hand, disposition in that person's house will mean that the person will be homeless. Okay? Mm -hmm. They will have nowhere to sleep. Hence, those people's security is not secured. They can even be attacked by thieves because they have nowhere to sleep. They can even be... They have got no place where they can do their cookings. They can't eat. That is the repercussion. So when you are dealing with an illegality, you look at what the damage is. Okay? What was the damage for that illegality? The question is, what is on that land since it was demolished? Nothing has been done on that land at the moment. Mm -hmm. All you see is houses are not there. What has been done? Absolutely nothing. So when you are dealing with an illegality, we need to assess it, or we assess it in all angles, okay? Mm -hmm. Ethically, it's wrong. Okay? Ethically, it's wrong. Because one, what the government was supposed to do is to see, where can we reposition these people? Even if you are to give a notice, you can't say the notice was given two months ago, or two months before the occurrence happened. Even if that was done, mm -hmm. how many years does it take for a single individual to complete building a house or an apartment. It takes years. Okay? Those houses have not been placed there in the last five years. There are houses that have been in existence for more than 20 years in the same area. Are you telling me that MMD didn't see that problem? Are you telling me that the Patriot Front didn't see that problem? Only this government has seen that problem. The problem which is there is this. They are all attributing this, thinking that the houses were, were built during the time of the Patriot Flint. No. There are houses in that area which have been in existence for more than 20 years. Among the houses... But, 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 but for a wrong to be committed, whether for a longest time or yes. to remain for a long... It, it remains a wrong. Where are the people call? whose houses were demolished? It remains a wrong. Whether, whether it was a crime was committed 20 years... It doesn't matter with Mulandu. Okay, Mulandu, Mulandu is on illegality because they built on you, an illegal land. Said what is the purpose of every government? Look, you've said ethically it's wrong what was taken. Do but you know that when you go to China, when you go to countries like Singapore, Malaysia, governments build houses for people who are working and can't build there and then. Now you're confusing things. No, no, I'm it, not. Let no, me, no, no, no. Let, let me bring. Let me guide you. Let no, me, no, let it me guide doesn't you. matter. Let me guide you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, why are you justifying citizens? Because one, when you commit a crime or you abrogate a constitution, mm -hmm. the law has to visit you, and you need to face the wrath of the law. Yes, Mr. Simukoko, you know this is a private land. This is for movie TV. Then you get an illegal title. Then you build your house at the gate or at the entrance of movie tv you'll be told mr simukoko you cannot build on this land it belongs to movie tv no no you, then you, you say missing. then the you say you do not have the, where, the where, examples where, are very different it's very correct no, no, wait, it's i'm coming to you i am coming same. to you that land belongs to civil aviation authority no no wait, wait. Let's, let's, let us, let us settle matters in this way let us settle matters in this way you are going in short in short mm -hmm. the government was supposed to look into the welfare of those people because that is the job of the government Secondly, it was supposed to think of those people who have no other place from which they can survive 
or live in. Oh, so that's you justifying now, illegalities? No, no, it's ethically right. It's, it's ethically right. But with the it constitution... Mean, no, no, look, the constitution sometimes doesn't favor the poor. Understand me. Understand me. The constitution sometimes... Should we put aside the constitution or should we put aside the law? The law, we... Look, the president, okay, as we are speaking now, mm -hmm. there is a change of Zesco supply to his private apartment, his house, residency. Apart from that, there are certain renovations that are done at his apartment. Okay. Wait, I'm coming to you. Against the law. Against the law. But who's, when who's you doing that? No, no, it doesn't matter who is doing no, it. No, no, uh, no. An illegality is an illegality. What illegality is to, to, to change what's at the house of at the, at the community house? What, because what he has not moved to the to the state house. That's an illegality. What do you call that? How, 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 Using how, state resources to renovate your private house. I'll ask you again. Mm. Have you heard from what the vice president said on that one? It's like you're not following these things. No, 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 no. Whether you justify, you don't justify. You have the evidence that using state resources. You, you can prove it here. If you can't prove it, Zesco, we'll Zesco, end the Zesco, Zesco is a... Uh, Mr. Simukoko, no. I need you to prove it that the renovations at community house are coming Look, from the government. Zesco... Failure to that will end the interview. You can, it. you can end if you want, sir. Prove this it. Is, uh, this is movie TV, but the issue which is there Prove is it this. here. Look. Look. Prove it to the viewers. My phone is off. Mm -hmm. I don't want to begin switching on the phone. Then I begin you switching. You can use my however, phone. You can use however, my phone. wait. Mm -hmm. However, the Zesco supply at the president's apartment are changed. Why? Because where the president lives, okay, mm -hmm. where the president lives, mm -hmm. There must be no power cut. That is why State House has got a special power supply. Malai Tia in the console, but the State House, you will, not, you will not see that. So is the case. The president hasn't moved to State House. So you expect the power supply which is installed at State House be installed at his residency. Then, President Taka in the Ichidema is yeah. in government, mm -hmm. but he is not the government. Zesco is a quasi government institution. Okay? Mm -hmm. Government come, uh, pro political parties go in, political parties move out, ad new administrations uh, uh, go into government, they move out. Mm -hmm. But the issue is mm -hmm. Zesco is a quasi government institution. Right. And Zesco is the one, or is an institution, which is supposed to make all those. W whose resources is Zesco using to make changes over the connections? It's the state resources. I want, I want you to resources. prove it. I want no. you to prove that. I want no, you to prove that. It, it, it doesn't require proof. No, no, no. no. Mr. Wait, Simukoko, uh -huh. you are misleading okay, what do you want me to prove? I want you to prove it to say Zesco or the renovations at the community house mm -hmm. are coming from the state. Because according to, I can refer to what the vice uh, president... What the, president the, vice the vice president, president not, not the president. He said, she said rather, mm -hmm. every other renovation at the community house is being sourced not by the state. Mm -hmm. That was what the vice president said. Having said that, or having heard that, I'm sure even other Zambians that are following up this program, mm -hmm. they saw that statement from the vice president. You are claiming uh, it's they're, they're using no, state no, no, funds. No, no, no. Look, the president has been in that apartment for many years. The question will be, why are the renovations being done now? And why didn't he source for those resources when he was in opposition? Then you are going to ask me, it's not up to, to, to depict or predict the time when he should do it. Then that is where the conclusion will be that the issue which is there, as I was even reading in the morning, mm -hmm. they, they, have, they have managed to, make, to put the third the, the mark mm -hmm. uh, to go to his residency. Yes. Uh, you know, th those are the issues again. So, but uh, those are nine issues, if I can go much into that detail. But looking at all issues, we have brought in that issue because of the people who are affected in Chingola. Right. That is the issue that we have brought up. I'll, I'll, let me give Secondly, you an example. Let me give you an example. In Mazabuka, there is an airstrip there. Mm -hmm. A similar situation happened, and uh, this was referred to by the Mazabuka Central Member of Parliament, who is now the local government minister. He said once that happened, it should have been uh, in the reign of, uh, you know, the late Patrick, uh, late President Levy Patrick Monawasa. So what they did there is, at the time, the residents or the citizens of Zambia 
invaded those areas. They got that. They followed the procedure, and that land had to be degazetted, mm, look, and it stayed on title. Look, for it's different from the Chingola Kasombe no, no, Airship. No, 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 look. That place, look. that land is on title for Civil Aviation Authority. Look. How are you justifying an illegality, Mr. Simukoko? An illegality is wrong. It must be condemned. Follow me well. Mm -hmm. An illegality must be condemned. My issue is, a person dies, okay, mm -hmm. because the person had the house built on the private land. Then that person had children. Mm -hmm. Those children have become orphans, okay? So now, I said, when you, look, you are looking at an illegality, what you need to be focusing on is the impact it can cause after taking in the action. That you can take in okay so this government moved in and demolished houses even if they said a notice was made or given to them mm -hmm. i have not seen any notice provided it's the minister who is saying that i don't know when, when that notice was given to them because even them were shocked i was watching the video the owners of the of the uh, of the houses went there and then they were saying look i'm just a single a single parent and it has taken me two years for me to make the house to reach where it is. On an illegal be. land, yes. Yes, on an illegal land. Mm -hmm. Okay? That is illegal, yes. Then the issue which will be there, who did the illegality? Who allocated plots to them? Okay? Then you follow up those people. You had these people who are here. Then some people there might have said, okay, this is an illegality. Then there is somebody who went there to sell that land to someone. Those are the people they were supposed to follow. Do After following those people, mm -hmm. they were supposed to compensate them for the money that they paid. They need to say, okay, this money was paid to this one, this money was paid to that one. D don't among <clears throat> the people who are there, mm -hmm. among the people who are there, they can locate the people who are administering or giving out that land. D don't you them. think this action is deterring who the offenders from committing this land. You remember in no, Zambia, no, no, there, no, no, no. there's look. a lot of land illegalities. No, 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 look. Don't you think this uh, is a deterrence to the who be offenders? No, 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 look. It doesn't matter who who be offenders can be. Then the who be offenders will be the same people who are in power. No private individual has a right to sell a land which does not belong to him or her. All right. If I sell you the land, it simply means I own that land and I bought that land from somewhere. All right. So <clears throat> is the case as well mm -hmm. with the same issue we are talking about here. Mm -hmm. There are people who sold that land to those people. The government managed to initiate an investigation on Mary Banana saying we need to investigate if it is her in the video, that issue is more useless than initiating the investigation over that land allocation. So you have a government which is prioritizing to investigate the issues that have to do with a banana, that then let people suffer, not sleep in houses, because the government has demolished those houses. They could have given them a plan or say to them that this land is illegal who sold this land to you then they are going to arrest those people the news as the media houses mm -hmm. you are going to say people who sold illegal land have been arrested hence they have been charged okay with this and this offense right. then in that case they are also they have been also given that is situation of compensating back the owners or the people who paid that money to them. Right. In that way, then you are going to solve the issue. Now, if you begin saying, no, it is okay, that is an illegality, the people who, are, who have done an illegality are not the people who are building there. It's the people who sold the land to them. So those people are just, they are just there because they had somebody who sold the land to them. And apart from that, there is inefficiency. 
in the way mr mr Simukoko, do you realize it's a crime to buy uh, something whether a gadget or a car a stolen car do you realize that's a crime to buy a stolen car it is a crime yes do you realize that i do yes so if you are saying those people that bought that land uh from uh you know you when you are dealing means, with society so even even them they've created what, what made you when you are looking at society sir mm. we look at the educated and educated and the people with information and those without information ignorance that is it doesn't matter ignorance is I, I, ignorance has to do with the failure to know all right Mr. What Simcoe, you I, I know so, we, we'll be going on okay yeah we can this, talk about but, other uh, let me then. ask you how mm. you found out the upnd has cloaked i think now over a year and some days, if I'm not mistaken, in government. Uh, how can you sum up the one year of UPND in government? Uh, the one year of UPND in government has been useless in short. They, right. have, they have done the opposite with what they promised the people of Zambia. What did they promise and what have they done? One, yeah, I'm, I'm talking about those issues. That yeah. is why I'm here. Yes. When the UPND came into power, they had promised people a lot of things. Among them was a reduction of a bag of mini meal from 100 kwacha to 50 kwacha per 25 kg. Two. Reduction in the prices of cooking oil. All right. Apart from that also, they promised the people of Zambia that immediately we are voted in mm -hmm. as a government. We are going to see a change in the way we handle the issues of the nation. Mm -hmm. Among that, those issues are the issue which deter other political parties or which infringe in the right of other political parties to begin or to be involved in the elections. Mm -hmm. Apart from that also, we are having a president who promised the people of Zambia that I'm sworn in at 10 hours, by 14 hours, the quarter will appreciate. Mm -hmm. We never saw that. Right. Apart from that, we are having again a president who, are, who is in this office who promised people quite a number of things. The list goes on. What have they done in one year? In one year. Mm -hmm. What they have done is they have managed, one, to abuse the authority by, one, seizing a property, then giving it back, meaning they are persecuting people before the investigation All right. when i just hear that oh this and this before they even investigate the issue they go in and then they begin arresting people later on they find that oh that is not the person or these things are genuinely we are genuinely gotten or this person accessed or managed to make these things uh, in a genuine way then release that person so this government has been persecuting people before investigation mm -hmm. that is the the other things that is the thing that they have done apart from that also i think the changes that they have made i think yeah you can look at them but uh, it's almost nothing it's almost nothing of course when you go into other networks like that's like the video which was being televised there mm -hmm. when we withdraw in the man we are, we are doing star seven seven eight it's now star one one five that is the change which the government has brought right. in short but mm -hmm. uh, usually when you look at serious matters they have done nothing. If you are to rate them, they have in, done nothing. If you are to rate them in 365, more than 365 days in government, uh, what, what could be your rating? Up to what? Which number? In a scale out of 10. In a scale out of 10. I would give them one out of 10. And that one out of 10 would maybe for the daily routine, which they have done. Because, you know, employing teachers, which they are boasting, employing health personnel, mm -hmm. which they are boasting about, that is a daily routine, which is expected. Immediately, a school is built. You are expected to have teachers working there. Immediately, a health facility is built again. You are expecting teachers to be there. Besides that, once again, uh, when such happens, again, the credit was supposed to be given to the previous government because, one, you can't employ teachers up in, in those public schools without them being built. So the previous administration or administrations did a lot when it came to infrastructure development. They built enough schools, which has made this government to employ. They also built enough health facilities, which has made this government to also employ the health personnel. But as we are speaking now, uh, the government which we are having has no direction. It has got no any economical recovery plan. It is failing to tell the people specifically what its achievement should be by 2023, it is failing to tell the people what its, its achievement should be by the end of its tenure, which is five years. All it right. is failing to tell so the people. So having you know, explained all that and uh, you know, 
having you know looked at the one year like you have put it of the UPN government how do you think or how would you have loved them to handle the issues that you raised that they promised now that they're in government how do you look at things you are having a president once again immediately came in the first thing he did was to give up or forfeit the mineral royalty tax meaning Zambia at the end of each year will begin losing about 3.2 billion kwacha mm -hmm. in the mining sector and you know that Zambia's biggest export about 75 percent it's copper that simply means Zambia is losing out what I expected from the president was one not to forfeit that mineral royalty tax then make a decision to say this money which you are going to receive or begin receiving from the companies or these mining companies. Mm -hmm. Remember, almost every company is run by foreigners now. So once that is done, you are supposed to make changes saying we are going to begin receiving taxes in dollars, mm -hmm. not in quarters. That would have made Zambia to have enough dollars in the country, hence having the currency to begin appreciating. Mm -hmm. Apart from that also, that money which was received, the, it was enough money to subsidize the energy sector. Once the, subsidize, the sub subsidization of the energy sector is done, mm -hmm. we can see the prices of goods and services to begin reducing in the country. Because one, people are paying more on transport fares. People are paying more on the goods that they are supposed to be accessing cheaper. People are paying more on almost every routine that they are supposed to do within a country. Remember, if you want to make money, you need to spend money a bit. But the difference is that what you are going to gain at the end of the day will be higher than what you spent. Mm -hmm. So the government was supposed to make sure that the cost of doing business reduces. How does it reduce? It reduces by making sure that you lower the cost of petrol, diesel, and fuel. Apart from that also, the cost of production is also high. Why? Immediately the president came in. Zesco made adjustments on the meter, uh, meter, uh, meter separation as well as the cable connection. Mm -hmm. There are increments. For cable uh, connection, it's about 850%. Was it the increment. president's uh, you know, decision for, for that? Those are cost-reflective measures. What does it mean? For, the, for them to survive, that is what is supposed to be needed. Was it the decision of the president? Have you gotten my point there? You said immediately the president came in, Zesco yes. made these changes. Yes. So is it, was it the decision of the president? The president has the powers to control those cross government institutions because they are part of the government. You're not getting, the, que you're not getting the question. Who caused that? You're not that getting is the question. question. You said immediately the you president... You said it. I didn't say that. You said it. Immediately the president came yes. into government. You know, there were these changes yes, at Zesco. Yes. So the, my question is, did the president make that decision? Zesco, in making those changes, said those are cost-reflective measures, meaning for Zesco to survive, that is what was supposed to be made. You're not answering the question. But, okay, you may look, proceed. You haven't give answered me the question. time. Yes, he is. He is. He, he did that because he the made president... That decision. Yes. Okay. How? Okay. The president increased the prices of fuel. The president increased the prices of goods and commodities. The president found a bag of midi meal which was costing 120 kwacha. Today, the minimum price you can find for a bag of minimum, which is a 25 kg, it's 150 kwacha. Apart from that also, the president increased cooking oil. The president increased... Tell me one thing which you can boast today that immediately the president came into office, uh, this price of this commodity has fallen. It, Nothing. It, it's, it's not about me, but let me, let me ask yeah, you. Yeah, it's not about you, but it's you. people are able to see. Yes, me, you are able me, to let, see. Let, let me, and I look, to, I what I like about answer. economics, mm. I like one thing about economics. You can justify figures, but you can, say, you can say, no, the inflation is in a single digit. That's what you can say. But the issue again will be, irrespective of that, mm -hmm. the people will still be buying things at an expensive price. So I want but to, you, you, you've talked about the economics and uh, some you know, indicators mm -hmm. of economics, that of the inflation rate. I think when the UPND came in government, it was plus 20 something mm -hmm. uh, percent, and now it's in a single digit. And also for, you know, for some months now, the Kwacha has been one of the best performing currencies 
uh, in our region. And we have seen the dollar, and uh, it has been appreciating against the US no, no, dollar. No, 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 look. Let, wait, wait. Yes. Yes. So I want you to relate to that on how uh, even the cost of, uh, you know, doing business is. Because if Zambia naturally is an import, you know, dependent economy, if the dollar is stabilized and it's going down like it has been, uh, what do you think that makes of the cost, you know, the cost of doing business? Look, the cost of doing business is still high. Understand me there. When you are looking at the appreciation of the quarter, mm -hmm. it should be in line with exports. Understand me there. It should be in line with exports. The quarter's appreciation should be in line with exports. We can draw more now, on wait, imports because wait, our economy I'm is an you. import dependent. I'm explaining to you the relationship between the appreciation, the depreciation of the quarter against the the depletion of a dollar against the quarter right. and all those issues. Mm -hmm. Now, when you are looking at the quarter's appreciation against the dollar, it's not that the quarter is performing better. No. It's because the dollar is not performing better at the international market. Look at the dollar's performance against other currencies, not only the Zambian quarter. Look at its performance against the euro, against the pound. Look at its performance. Mm -hmm. It has decreased. And Zambia is only a beneficiary. Okay? Zambia is only a beneficiary. Mm -hmm. Now, let us look at what you are talking about in terms of the cost of doing business, the cost of doing what. Zambia at the moment, okay? Tell me what Zambia produces. The shirt you are putting on maybe it was not even made in Zambia. The clothes we are putting on were not even made in Zambia. They are coming from Tanzania. They are coming from all these countries. Now, the cost of doing business is still high. Let us not talk about the cost of production because we don't produce anything or we rarely produce things. The cost of doing business is high because, one, fuel is still expensive. Mm -hmm. Petrol is still expensive. So the cost of production, let us leave that to Tanzania. I think we are placed in Tabari with Nukura and cost of production. Because tell me one thing you can say, Zambia is producing this. One thing, absolutely nothing. You can even begin scratching to say, Because the president's measures to improve the economy was based on giving the foreigners mineral loyalty taxes. Once the president thinks of that, it must trigger to you that there is less caring of its own people, of the people is governing. Because one, Zambians are being taxed heavily. Heavily. It's as a result of those taxes that these projects you see are being done. Mm -hmm. It's as a result of those that you are able to see schools being built. This being done. Now, there must be a reduction, okay? Mm -hmm. There must be a reduction on taxes and increase the tax base. You need to make sure that more people are paying taxes. Then you reduce on the amount they pay as tax. Once you reduce that, when you get enough money, when, or the government, when the government doesn't deduct too heavily, mm -hmm. you are going to remain with disposable in income. Once you remain with the disposable income, what will uh, happen now is that that disposable income will help you to go to Livingston, view the Victoria Force. You are going to be the domestic tourist. Once you become a domestic tourist, there will be that trickling down of resources to the masses. The issue of CDF, let us forget about that. You get money as a person who is in that cooperative. Mm -hmm. You want to begin selling your clothes. You want to begin selling your motorbikes. You want to be selling what? The question will be, is Zambia producing the things that you want to be involved in? If not, your first journey immediately of money, you Tanzania, you China. What are you going to do there? Nothing as CDF money, so you can go to the government. So the trickle-down effect of the money being released as CDF is not happening in Zambia. Imamzaenda ku Tanzania. Imamzaenda ku. When you buy from that company which is producing clothes in Tanzania, the workers from there are going to be paid enough salaries because that company will be making enough profits. Once that is done, 
the workers from there are going to that market here who is selling Chinese, who is selling vegetables, what is church, what is change. Mm -hmm. The trickle down effect will be felt in that country where oh, there is production. That's one way, that's one way I'm sure you are, you're providing your thinking it could be, you know, worked out. Yes. And uh, you've seen, you, you know, you've spoken uh, nothing about the CDF. You've just clearly brushed it off. But I want you to also be very clear. Uh, you've mentioned of how the economy is not doing okay. Yes. But uh, what is your alternative? Uh, as, uh, I don't know what your political party is. But so uh, now. As, as your grouping, as your, your organization, what are the alternatives? The alternatives what are What Zambia is currently Okay, going the alternatives are these. Mm -hmm. One, you need to get the money from the mining sector and begin helping the people of Zambia. Once you do so, you need to reduce on taxes, then get uh, taxes from a lot of people. In short, I'm talking about you increase the tax base, then you get less taxes. All right. How is that supposed to be done? Imagine if the president didn't give the mineral loyalty tax to the foreigners because he has given them that money in, sh in short uh, it's like mr keith you are here uh, maybe you are working then you tell your boss and say boss i have enough money don't pay me my salary you can take it i don't need it that is the case with, with the president he says i don't need the money from the mining sector i think we have a lot of money here so you can go ah the president when and drama zambia is trying to subsidize fuel or energy sector at ti uh, sting akwani said because in fact, uh, really so because it started that they were stealing three quarters from the previous administration because of the issue of, uh, which has to do with the middlemen mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. So meaning this president, if we are to calculate the increments, if indeed the previous administration was stealing three quarter, meaning this administration is stealing more. Meaning this administration is stealing more. Once that is done, now let me clarify the point. When... Instead of giving the mineral rights taxes to the foreigners, mm -hmm. keep that to yourselves. Make sure that you subsidize the energy sector. Fuel are cheap. Diesel are cheap. And avance are cheaper. If you don't have the then make a decision. Let us begin giving tax holidays and tax breaks to our local companies. Make that decision. I explained earlier when I came. I said, if the president can make a decision, that instead of us forfeiting that, instead let us give the tax holidays and tax exemptions to the domestic companies so that they begin revamping themselves for a certain period. Mm -hmm. Once they revamp themselves, company kakula, when the pan company grows, it is making enough profit. It will require more workers. That, that is well explained. Do you think that's the only model or structure Zambia can be, you know, be able to come out of what... Uh, this economic malaise. It's one you, way, you, you it's one way but it's one the way. president has no the solutions. All right. The president's issue is to go to Scotland, is to go to Kenya. Which other way? Which other way? Your president tells you that he's the market, chief marketing officer. His marketing isn't even seen anywhere. Where is the marketing? Irrespective of what you can be, chief marketing officer, what is marketing in Zambia? Are you producing anything for you to market to other countries? What commodity? Are you going to tell me that, no, the president went to, maybe, <laughs> or we talk about the same Kenya which he went to. Mm -hmm. which, which product are you going to be selling to Kenya which we are having here? You talk of, no, means, enough means. Mm -hmm. Enough means your people within your country are buying a bag of mini at 150. Talk about means. Yes, we produce means. Yes. But provided your own people are not ex uh, Ex uh, getting it or getting that mini a component which comes from mains cheaply. Mr. Simko, then it simply I, I means I, I your know, dimension I, I, I is wrong. I'm in no way a government spokesperson. I but, understand. Uh, me, I understand. You're not a government yes, spokesperson. But if, yes. if, if he says he's the number one, you know, marketing officer for Zambia, he who has, ranked him? He, he has, Boston. Sorry? Who ranked him that is the number one chief marketing officer? But he's the president. That is Boston again. Who told you that? Uh, who told you that? No, no, no. Who right. ranked him to be the number one chief marketing officer? Yeah. And who told you that the president is the chief marketing officer? If you wanted to be a chief marketing officer, mm. you, would have, you would have gone to Zesco to be a marketing manager. If you wanted that, you could have come to Movie no, TV to be the marketing it's, manager. It's different, Mr. Simukoko. It's different. You're, you're missing out the point here. It doesn't you matter, are missing but what out I'm telling point. you is the truth. The president, Zesco has an MD, Engineer Mapani. 
Yes. Here we have a CEO for Movie TV. But you have got people Pili. deal with ma ma marketing here. So, Mr. President, he's the chief executive officer for Zambia. He was that's, telling that's me he's the chief marketing officer. Chief executive officer. All right, we're not. And chief we're marketing not dwelling officer on the titles. are two different We're not things. dwelling on the titles. It but doesn't matter. The question is who ranked him to be the first chief marketing officer. But those are petty issues. You, you cannot be asking. You cannot be debating which, which on that. Which one is the petty, the petty that's issue That's the petty here. issue. I won't allow us to, he to tells go you, into that. He tells you I'm a chief marketing officer. I'll bring sanity. You no, know, I'm going to bring... Even on earth, very good Zambia. question. Let's have some sanity in the conversation here. Mr. Yes, Simcoe. we are going to have it. Yes. We are having it now. So let me ask you this question now. If if he says he goes to market out Zambia, he has gone to you know our neighboring countries and outside the Democratic Republic of Congo, of which they have proved or they have called on for readily available market for our agricultural produce. Same with Iswatini. He visited the kingdom of Iswatini. They too, they are calling upon for some agricultural produce. Uh, what, what, what else? Can I explain to you how that is done? Can I? Here is how it works. Zambia, have you started hearing the news that there are people who are smuggling mini meal, then they were arrested? It's not in this government alone. Meaning, Congo's market has always been ready for Zambia. Don't be misled by him or any person. Zambia still depends on the global market. That is why we are a beneficiary of international trade. Now, here is how it works. Zambia has a deficit of about 40,000 metric tons of fish. Okay? Once you look at that, go to Congo. Tell Congo that, Congo, we are having a deficit of these tons of fish. We want you to supply this, but we don't have money to give you. Instead, you are no, I wanted also... you to go direct to the question that I asked you. Yes, that's where I'm going to, because you have, you have said, what we, else we, do we, you want him to do? We, we, we do not have time. You have said, what else do you want him to do? I, and let I, me just explain this, because at the end of the day, we're we not going to be here forever. We're not going to be We're not going to be here forever. Very soon we'll be closing yes. up, I think, in a minute. So I asked you of these other places where he has visited, and he has come back to say there is this. You talked about how our neighboring countries like Malawi, they've always been ready to buy our agricultural produce. And you spoke of uh, you know, smuggling. They, this government says they want to cut on that and formalize this particular Look, trade. That is why you had to cut me. Those are the issues I was explaining. You went to fishing. It doesn't matter. It's an example. You gave an example of Mirimio. That is just an example. Simkoko, who is the former uh, Democratic Party, Harry Kalaba, led faction, National Youth Spokesperson. This has been Keith Mwemba on today's edition. Likewise and always, it's one Zambia and one nation.